What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 video. And rather than the usual one versus a million, we have four versus a million. And this time in the style of the four Lord of the Rings heroes, we got Gimli, we got Aragorn, we got Gandalf, and we got Legolas. So let's hop in the driver's seat and see what kind of health these characters are rocking with. So Gimli's got 11,000. Aragorn with his uh, his weird way of holding the swords at 12,000. Legolas is at 6,500. And Gandalf the Grey with his power stance is at 25,000. So understandably, uh, Gandalf being the most experienced and strongest next to Aragorn, then Gimli, and then Legolas. Legolas obviously being the range unit is going to have more of the speed and long distance attack damage and stuff. And then we have Aragorn and Gimli with their up close and personal swordsmanship and axe cleave area of, area of effect damage and stuff. And unfortunately Gandalf does not have any kind of magic based attacks in this game. He just simply clubs mofos with his, uh, his little staff there. So he is a melee based unit in this game too. So he's not to his full potential as in like the Lord of the Rings universe. Without further ado, let's see what kind of damage the, uh, the heroes of Middle Earth can do against the, a legion of zombies. And already we got Legolas popping off with his dual arrow or triple arrows. He's firing off into the crowd there. Already see some major cleave damage happening right here in the group. Gimli, of course, is overshadowed by the zombies that are like a foot and a half taller than him pretty much or like even two feet taller Aragorn and Gandalf holding it down with their uh, their big swinging sword and club attacks right here they're already stacking up a little pile of bodies. Gimli, of course, holding his own, too. Oh, where'd Legolas go? Oh, damn, did we already lose Legolas? Did he already... Man, he got swallowed up real quick. I haven't noticed him get... Get lost in the sea of crowd of zombies. Ooh, that was a big that was a big splash damage effect attack there. Oh, it's like it's like Gimli just fell. Down to the uh, the two main health pool and damage dealers of the group. Obviously, these are pretty basic stats for these characters. They're not like they haven't been buffed up and revamped to be like insanely outclassed, overpowerful like some of the other heroes like Chuck Norris in this game. But again, with this series, the whole goal is just to see how uh, how effective and how well the either the base game characters or the base body characters hold up. So far, they don't really seem to be struggling. Of course, the only major limitations are their uh, their small health pool. That was definitely the demise of Legolas with only 6,500. Nope. Well, Aragorn has fallen. Now it's just down to Gandalf. He's holding it down. He is building a mountain of bodies. He's definitely got some good AoE in his attacks, too. Would be cool to see if the, uh, 
if there's any kind of way to mod in a, a custom magical attack or like a spell to his 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 staff there, it'd be pretty awesome. It's kind of unfortunate that one of the stronger wizards in the uh, Lord of the Rings universe is limited to just bashing zombies beside the skull with his, with his staff there. Even though he's doing it uh, quite effectively. And Gandalf has fallen finally as well. So let's see what the uh, final... Yep. So, only 4,300. Not, uh, not anything super impressive for the basic Lord of the Rings heroes. But again, like I said, they're not very, uh, not very buffed to how some of the other heroes in this game are, considering they're just, they were modded into the game. We'll definitely have to play around and revisit this video with kind of tinkering and altering their stats to make them stupid and super powerful, so. So as a little bonus, I wanted to kind of give, uh, Legolas a little more, uh, a little more screen time to shine since he was <laughs> super overshadowed with the the group and got swallowed up pretty quickly by the zombies so went ahead and gave him a little a little slight increase in, in power and stats so his health is the same but uh we changed a little bit of something else in the stats so we'll we'll see how he fares here now <laughs> we gave him a little a little more attack speed so he's a little more spastic in his uh his arrow firing He's on full X Games mode. <laughs> Boy spinning like a Beyblade shooting his arrows out. It's like he's glitching in the Matrix. It's the only downside, just a, a single unit like this though too, is like... <laughs> yeah, in a movie or a series like Lord of the Rings, like... Against, the, you know, a few hundred or... <laughs> Even a few thousand. Oh, he's gonna kick some ass, but when it's a million zombies, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it looks like he's doing nothing. Yeah, even with his buffed up crazy little stat and creator stat bump up there, he still only managed to heal 382. So just wanted to again showcase just how how massive an undertaking it is when you're going against a million of anything. So thank you all so much for checking out this video and sticking to the end for this little surprise here. So as the series goes on, we're going to keep trying out some different uh, formations and some different heroes or just, you know, mini armies to take on the the group of one million here. And our aim is to see which uh, performs the best. Obviously, so far, Chuck Norris is unrivaled in slaughters and solos. So stay tuned for, uh, for more videos and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.